Good afternoon, Conway. I'm Conway Mayor Bart Castleberry. In the last several weeks, there have been issues raging around the country centered on police brutality and the role of police in society. There is no place in our country or community for racism or social injustice of any form. These issues are important and should be attacked head on. Conway City officials have done just that. The national debate has caused us to take a very intense self-assessment to ensure you that your Conway Police Department is doing a job for all of the citizens that it serves. We have listened to community leaders, pastors, community groups, and social change organizations. We hosted a town hall meeting. We have fielded questions from the public and encouraged open dialogues. At this point of what will be an ongoing evaluation of law enforcement, I can tell you, the citizens of Conway, we have a police department that we can all be proud of. We're on the right track. We are committed to being better every day. While some national discussions involve defunding police, I can tell you that my office in the Conway City Council, we are committed to increased investments in the police department. This increased investment will be for training and focus on retaining the great officers we have and recruiting officers that understand the true meaning to serve and protect. One man that understands this role and will continue to build upon this strong foundation set by those who came before him are Chief William Tapley. Thank you. We as the Conway Police Department would like to take this opportunity to highlight some of our continued commitments to the citizens of Conway. Most of the following points that I will talk about today are not new to the police department, but they're instead a continuation of the practices and policies that we've had in place for quite some time. First, the Conway Police Department is in the process of putting into policy a ban on the use of chokeholds with the exception of situations in which deadly force is justified. It's important to know that this is not new for the police department. Conway PD has not permitted or trained officers in the use of a chokehold for over a decade. This amendment to our use of force policy simply serves to document current practices and policies. We are currently developing a duty to intervene policy. Officers of the department have previously been required to report violations of laws, ordinances, and rules of conduct to supervisory personnel under our rules of conduct policy. This new policy will stand alone and be more comprehensive in nature. Additionally, the Conway, department, Conway Police Department is, has, and will continue to be dedicated to the training of our personnel. We strive to institute the best practices of law enforcement, and we ensure this through review by independent accrediting bodies such as the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies and the Arkansas Law Enforcement Accreditation Program. In 2019, Conway Police Department officers received more than 23,000 hours of training. Providing the citizens of Conway with a well-trained, professional police department is one of our highest priorities. The Conway Police Department ensures that the complaint process is accessible and readily available to all of our citizens. Community members can submit a complaint in person, over the phone, or in writing. The form can be found on our website, conwaypd.org, or it can be picked up in person at the Conway Police Department. We have two supervisory officers who are assigned to investigate all complaints. At the conclusion of the investigation, the complaint is al complainant is always made aware of the findings and given options of how to proceed if they disagree with the outcome. Additionally, we are committed to the recruiting and retaining of the highest quality personnel. Each applicant is put through a rigorous series of tests and evaluations prior to being employed. This includes written and physical testing, background investigations, interviews, truth verification testing, as well as medical and psychological testing. After being hired, officers are required to successfully complete a 13-week basic law enforcement academy. 
and three weeks of in-house training prior to being placed with a certified training officer for a period of 14 weeks. All of this is done before that officer is allowed to operate in a solo capacity. Finally, the Conway Police Department is committed to adhering to the state and federal mandates that are handed down, including those mandates from Gov Governor Hutchinson's Task Force on Law Enforcement that will convene later this year. These are only a few of the things that Conway PD is committed to. However, we wanted to make sure that the public is aware of these commitments during this time in our community. And as always, if there are questions or concerns on how Conway Police Department operates, please contact us. I want input from the citizens that we serve, and I truly believe that the only way that we move forward is together. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Tapley. To the citizens of Conway, thank you for your patience and working with us, and to the men and women in blue for the Conway Police Department who serve us every day, thank you for the tremendous job we do. You do, I'm sorry, that you do. And I would like to also, uh, if you have any questions or concerns, you can most certainly contact City Attorney Chuck Clawson, who's been working with us on this, and our Director of Diversity, Economic Development, and Minority Affairs, Ms. Shawana Rogers. And as always, you can contact my office. Thank you, Conway. Have a great week.